Hello, Michael here again. We're doing another Render Man tutorial this week. Uh, going to be talking about Z depth and how you would export it and composite it with a Beauty Pass. Um, if you haven't had a look at my previous tutorial about render passes, it might be worth a look. Um, but this should be pretty easy to follow even if you haven't. Uh, so as you can see, I've got a scene set up here with a bunch of balls and they're at, a, um, at different depths um, within the image plane. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my render settings. Uh, I'm going to go to final and I'm going to go to output. And once you're in outputs, um, you go to add channel, scroll down to the bottom there and you've got float Z. Right click on it and click create channel from output. And then you'll have this uh, drop down in that little selection there that you can go into and it says float Z. On the right here, you've got a, a tab at the bottom that you can expand um, and you want to right click on filter and add selected. Uh, then in the filter, you want to select Z min and then go back onto the left hand column here, select your Z and we're going to add in an exposure by right clicking and clicking add. Uh, and then we're going to change the exposure to 1 to negative 1. This is just so the exposure is basically normalized on the Z depth um, export. If you don't do this, your image will appear white overall. Um, and then we go back to our globals. Um, I've just got set it to the perspective cam with alpha. Um, you can do it with this Z depth channel, but I've never really got it to work well. Uh, so I would just recommend. Uh, doing it this way has a compo has a composite otherwise just adding a Depth of field to your camera is another easy way to do that and you can check my tutorials I've got one on how to do that as well. So uh, Let's do a render. So I've got it on the final render um, in the uh, In the outputs there, so you'll see that I've got the RGB a uh, beauty layer and the Z selected So if you do an IPR this won't give you both uh, of those outputs, so you need to do a final render, which is this button here. Okay, so our render has finished, and you can see the beauty layer here. And on the left, if you click this, um, if this is actually visible, you can go to uh, Window Catalog and make sure that's selected and open, or C is the hotkey to open it up. Um, and if you just click the little black arrow, you'll be able to look at your Z depth channel. If this isn't um, showing correctly, uh, you can also go to uh, view, uh, where is it, image color space and shadow map. If you click that on and off, sometimes it's, it's a little bit buggy and sometimes you might just be getting a black screen. So if you click that on and then click it off and then re-render, uh, that might solve your problem. Uh, so I'm going to go uh, select each of these and export. So export this file um, just to my my projects and this one's going to be called UT layer. Um, and we need to export this. Well, you don't need to export this as an EXR, um, but I'm going to to keep things consistent because the Z depth does need to be exported as a 32 bit float, which means it needs to be a 32 bit um, TIFF image or a 32 bit EXR, which is what EXR is by default. Uh, so we can export this file as well. And we just got it uh, called Z depth uh, EXR, which is fine. Okay, so now if we open up our image, um, alpha channels, uh, channels of transparency is fine. Uh, we've got our beauty layer there, and then we can also grab our Z depth layer as a transparency is fine. Um, so now they should be lined up over each other, um, which is cool. And I need to rasterize this actually, so I'm gonna right click and rasterize that layer. All right, so now we want to put the Z depth layer into a channel in our channels. So uh, if you click the channels tab and click this button here, which is create a new channel, and we're going to call this Z depth. Then we go back to our depth. Um, now, if you zoom in, you'll see that that the edges are very hard. Uh, and this this can be a bit rough for a, a Z depth layer. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and um, probably depending on your resolution, I think 1.3 will be enough. And we'll just have a look. Yeah, so that's blurred out all that. 
um, and now we can control I that copy select our Z depth and control V paste so now we can hide our Z depth layer uh, in your layers tab and you'll see that our Z depth is visible there if you turn off your RGB um, you can see the Z depth and we can just hide that so now we're going to use a uh, filter to affect this now if you do this um, you go filter blur lens blur you'll see that you can't select it that's because the image color space is um, in 32 bit uh, which won't work um, with certain types of filters so if we can just bump it down to 8 bit at this stage uh, you'll get this uh, dialog box because you want to click don't merge otherwise it'll screw up your gamma and now we can go to filter blur lens blur and then um, on the right hand side here you'll have depth map um, and you'll have a couple of options the uh, the the uh, channel that we call Z depth is in there now we can select that and then um, you can just click anywhere on your image and we'll focus on that point because it's basically using the value of that channel um, to determine how in focus the image should be so if I click on this red ball at the back here it's in focus um, and everything is out um, or this yellow ball over here on the right or this red ball in the front and then um, you can use the radius slider to adjust your depth of field as well and then um, when you're happy with your result click OK and there you go it is just that simple um, and you've got your Z depth there and then you can just go on and um, continue as with your photo editing process as you would uh, so yeah, hopefully this was all very simple for you to follow. It's a little bit of a quick one this week uh, on RenderMan because I've got something else cooking which you guys might be interested in, so stay tuned. Um, but if you liked this tutorial, you found it useful, click like. Um, and um, if you haven't already, click subscribe because I do a new tutorial every week. Um, and you might enjoy seeing them. Um, otherwise, thanks for watching everybody and um, happy rendering.